to JMC Creates. My name is Jackie McKissick and today I am doing take four on this nail file holder video. So I had made these for the teachers but the new nail files I got are longer. I can't even find on there. So I'm going to show you how you would make it dependent on the size of your nail file. You want to take your nail file, which is mine's is seven inches, and you want to add on two and three quarters. So you need one piece that is one and three quarters by nine and three quarters. Then your front piece will be the one and three quarters plus a half on each side, which will be two and three quarters. And you want it to go down just slightly smaller. I've taken mine to six and seven eighths, so take it down an eighth below the size of your score or your nail file. Then you want to carefully score a half. Actually, I want to do that on the wrong side. A half on three sides. Okay, on your two and three quarter bit. Then your long piece, nine and three quarters, you're going to score at six and seven eighths. No, yes, no, you're not. You're going to score at seven and a quarter. Yes, you're going to score at seven and a quarter. So you're going to score at roughly three eighths bigger than your scoreboard. Okay, and then you just want to burnish that. Then I went in and I rounded my edges. And I'll show you how I did the front in a minute. Okay, and I actually broke my camera on take four because I dropped it and now I can't get it to turn off. Nothing I do works. I broke my camera. So, fun times and I have videos on there that's not uploaded yet so we shall see. So go ahead then and just Burnish your scores and then take away the two little squares at the corners. Just mitre them ever so slightly and remove them. Like that. Then you want to put double sided tape along this. Side. and along this side so okay so it'll soon be Halloween and TJ will be nine on Halloween night so we're ha we're having a party for which I made all the party treats and I made the invitations so what you're going to do now is you're going to take your thing off and you're going to stick the bottom down to that bit. Okay. And then you put a little bit of tape on there. Okay. And remove that. Oh no, don't remove that yet. I went in and I rounded my corners because it was just film it went through it okay oops we're a bit full 
And there we go. Then take off all your tape. And all you're going to do is line it up with the bottom of that and stick it down. Right. Give that a burnish. Put your file in. Sits in there nicely. Now what you need, what I used were some Velcro dots on oh, mine. Oops. <laughs> if I can find one. Oh, I'm down here, that's right. There we go. And I'm just going to stick that roughly in the centre and carefully press. Okay. And then all you need to do is you need to glue on your decoration. Now these are a couple of snowflakes that I had. Enough glue around my glue stick to start it apart anyway. Okay, so I just stuck them all one on top of the other and then I put a gem in the middle. I have a little winter blessings. Die cut, cut already. Right. It's taking me time to put glue on and you could knock a whole heap of these out in no time at all. And this is not something new. This idea has been around since Pussy was a kitten. But I don't have any teachers that have already received anything like this. These are my teacher gifts. So I'm just going to stick that on the bottom. And hopefully I have recorded that on my phone. Oops, it's a bit crooked. I better straighten it up a bit. Winter blessings. And that is my very quick, easy, but pretty, very pretty nail file holder. So that was the smaller one, did with a flowery vellum, and this one is done with gold vellum. So thank you for stopping by, always appreciate it as you know. Remember to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, whatever you can do, greatly appreciate it. There will be a 400 subscriber giveaway as soon as I get round to it. So, keep your eye out for that. I hope you're all safe and well. And until the next time, jack you out.